primary election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Now is the time to make a plan. Whether you plan to vote absentee by mail, in person at your county auditor's office before election day, or at your polling place on June 4th, it's important you take steps now to make your plan at voterready.iowa.gov. Remember, election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Find more info at voterready.iowa.gov. This message is presented by the Iowa Secretary of State. When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Baker's, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week. You can also save up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with fuel points. More savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping Baker's worth it every time. Baker's, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. This is King Caruth, the Black History Buff, and this is another episode of Your Stories Told Your Way. So if you've been listening to the podcast for a little while now, you'll know that this segment is a spot where people who follow me on Instagram or who follow the podcast, who have ancestors, family members or themselves, have done wonderful things for black history or have influenced the culture or just done something great get an opportunity to have an interview with me and really tell their story their way to kind of honour their ancestors and honour the great things that they may have done in black history. So whilst going through social media, I got talking to a man by the name of Tyreek Murphy and um, he was telling me about his ancestor Cicero Murphy and I you know I was gonna line up an interview but I decided to try something different and I asked Tariq if he could send me a recording telling me about his grandfather. Now what I didn't know is just how passionate and articulate Tariq was. So rather than me go on and tell you about Cicero, Tyreek's um, ancestor. I'm going to play you the recording that Tyreek sent me. Very articulate, very fluent in how he gets across his message and also passionate about his grandfather. Um, so I'm going to play the clip shortly. There are going to be some extras going up on my Patreon. So if you haven't signed up already, please um, just head over to Patreon and just search for Black History Buff and you'll find some extras there. And there will also be some posts going up on my Instagram page about Cicero um, telling Tyreek's story. And that'll be going out on BHB Media and also the new Black History Buff podcast page, uh, as well as the Facebook page too. So please kick back, relax, enjoy, and listen to Tyreek tell the story of Cicero Murphy. As we look into the sport of billiards, a lot of people seem to think that it's just a sport played by black individuals recreationally as opposed to professionally. And when you you know know the history if you're a true you know billiards player you know you should know the history and know how it even came about for the diversity within the sport and on most often than not a lot of individuals don't know that the only reason why black individuals as well as all other ethnicities and including women are even allowed to participate in this sport is because of the one individual that broke the racial barriers giving individuals the opportunity and that individual is Cicero Murphy who just happens to be my grandfather you know he's the only black professional billets world title winner and hall of fame inductee and you know to to see that precedent you know set by him and it still holds to this day you know, is very remarkable. And, you know, quite frankly, it's, it's, it's completely astonishing to believe that, you know, even in this present day, you know, you have a, a piece of history, a record set, and it's still holding fast with so many individuals playing within the sport. You know, 
it it drove me to turn around and you know write about my grandfather you know write about his accolades tell his whole life tell the whole story pertaining to his journey to the road of greatness in which he you know prescribed for himself and without a shadow of a doubt that's what i believe i accomplished in the book big city nights the biography of the legendary cicero murphy you know i depict everything from the beginning all the way up to the end you know of his life you know giving you the the full-fledged in-depth detail as to the struggles you know that we face within society as a whole all the way down to what he faced during his everyday struggles you know with trying to become a man and it's essentially a you know a black man within times of you know civil unjust so without a shadow of a doubt you know i'm very you know appeased that my grandfather was able to accomplish this and i'm doing everything in my power with the rest of the team within murphy enterprise solutions to ensure that you know his legacy gets the full attention and the full just due that it deserves i mean he's coined himself as well as others have has coined him as the jackie robinson of pool so you know this is something you know that i feel is 100 percent essential to society you know essential to our sports history as well as black history and you know without a shadow of doubt he's the father of diversity for the sport of billards and i'm gonna do everything that is you know reasonably possible to ensure that society is educated on such greatness tyreek murphy everybody wow I, i i tell you what when i leave this earth i want my family members and the people who come after me my descendants they need to talk about me like that they need to talk about me like that that was so passionate right that he he went into full go mode he was not playing around i I feel inspired and invigorated now he actually out promoted his grandfather his company his book on my podcast better than i promote myself so inspired by Tariq now I'm gonna go back in and do a little bit of self-promotion for myself here and I do just want to remind people once again that I do have a Patreon there are exclusive um, items on there and the Patreon's really important and because it helps to fund what I'm doing here it helps to pay for equipment it helps to uh, pay for research materials it's keeping the website going um and it it's in it's motivation and encouragement as well um speaking of the website uh www.blackhistorybuff.com is launching soon if not it will be launching now depending on when you are listening to this and on there you'll be able to pick up some merchandise um, related to the podcast um, and related to a few other things as well we've got some i say we i i have um some books that i'm working on that the wonderful people at patreon are helping to fund and um help to bring those things into fruition and anything that is purchased on the merch site on the website um any money that's put onto the patreon is going to go towards the creation of more content um more audio video the written word children's books and i also have this grand vision and dream of being able to provide jobs to people in the continent of africa and south america and in the caribbean um so that we can actually get the conversation going globally you know i'm here in britain right now a lot of my followers in america i've got haitians following me french people following me and i do have this vision of having this team of historians one in every country where there are black people in the world who are able to contribute and do interviews and produce content and really 
get our message out and our history out in our hands just for us so if you want to contribute towards that like i said head over to my patreon um you can donate as little as one pound um or you can head over to the merch shop get a hoodie get a t-shirt and when it comes out you can buy my book all right so i hope you're all having a splendid day thank you for listening to the episode um Tyreek, amazing. Uh, if you get a chance, you can Wikipedia Cicero. And if you play billets, or as we call it here in the UK, pool, or even the posh version, snooker. Um, just remember, you know, Cicero helped pave the way and make the sport more accessible for everyone. And as you go throughout your day today, Maybe have a think and see if there's any ground that you can break, any battles that you need to fight, any causes that you need to push through so that the people coming after you can talk about you with the same kind of passion that Tariq did about his grandfather and that we kind of feel for the people that I'm talking about and we're posting about and we're sharing the information about on social media. So to all the listeners out there, have a great day. Take care. Peace. Primary election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Now is the time to make a plan. Whether you plan to vote absentee by mail, in person at your county auditor's office before election day, or at your polling place on June 4th, it's important you take steps now to make your plan at voterready.iowa.gov. Remember, election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Find more info at voterready.iowa.gov. This message is presented by the Iowa Secretary of State. This is the story of the one. As a maintenance engineer, he hears things differently. To the untrained ear, everything on his shop floor might sound fine, but he can hear gears grinding or a belt slipping. So he steps in to fix the problem at hand before it gets out of hand. And he knows granger has got the right product he needs to get the job done, which is music to his ears. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done.